to start game two down in Houston. The Spartans of Michigan State, the top seed Tigers of Memphis. Let's go live to Houston, Jim Nance and Billy Packer. Awesome first half performance. Just a great performance in every respect. Unselfish basketball. Michigan State runs into a buzzsaw called Memphis, the Memphis Tigers. half a basketball by Memphis 50 to 20 over Michigan State Magic Johnson here to support his alma mater he's so great about that now uh, Jim Judd Heathcote in front of him yeah there's Judd sitting in front of him Magic is who they need tonight you know there have only been nine triple doubles in NCAA tournament play Magic had one in the final four where he played so so well you know as he's had two, he had two of the triple doubles breaks a 19 nothing run but you know I admire so much about magic is that through the years he comes back he puts his Michigan State colors on oh, he yeah. sits in the stands he's gracious to the to the fans Ooh, yeah, nice. nice shot by Lucas that's, that's all easy they're getting it inside with very little worry well, we talk about the number one seeds, Jim, and what they all have is versatility. They've got an inside game and an outside game. Come on. You know, pick something outside of the four ones, and he said, I think this will be the first time. And that is a distinct possibility. Nice. Shoot time. So that was a nice feed by Morgan. Guy Lewis is right here at home in Houston, and he's been recovering from some... Well, recent health issues, we sent along our best, and I'm sure it put a smile on his face watching that kind of play. Mine down the floor at the pit in Albuquerque. Billy, that was ready for this 25 years ago this week. Hard to believe. Allen off the screen Allen. and gets the shot. Allen go. has Working over Morgan, short with a shot, and there again is Allen. Well, give Michigan State some credit in the fact that they are not backing down right now. They're playing hard the second half, particularly on the defensive end. Morgan walks, no call. Yep, got the ball back. Allen launches a three, and he's good again. Ties Allen. Thought of there because they can only now start to lose some concentration. That's Allen. And that rolls in, bounces off the front of the rim for a two. He's having to come here and do it the whole time. And Anderson, he finds him even running down the court. Notice where Anderson is right now? He's on night side. He's not going to let it get out of his sight. This is a personal challenge that this young man's taken on and is really doing the job. Fighting over and around screens. Nice move by Sutan. Drives right on Dorsey and scores. <laughs> So a 16-0 run, and with the ball, Michigan State. Getting credit for coming back out here. And actually gave up a couple of easy baskets to start the second half. And after that, yeah, they have locked down. Lucas, oh, no, place no to chance. Go. But this time able to draw the foul. Interesting Rose has not returned. No, he has been sitting over there. He got a cut with, what would you say, Jim? Two minutes to go in this half and hasn't returned. And John Calipari having a little conversation over there with Andre Allen. And I don't think in a game like this he wants to hear too much. Memphis has not scored since 16.58 was on the clock in this half. Nice defense. Douglas Roberts, finally, the Tigers. It's a tough matchup, you know, Jim, because he's got so many good moves right or left. And he's got long arms, about six foot five, so the defensive assignment on him almost has to be a forward. Look at it, he's now getting more involved defensively, too. 
I think they're tired of having this uh, basket swapping. That's Namick. It's the outside shot for a two. I think uh, Eric has a little bit more range on his jump shot. Both are very powerful young men. There's Allen. He has been the man of the hour here in a tough cause for Michigan State. The freshman guard for the Spartans has 14. The great El Elvin Hayes in that ball game was truly outstanding. Kareem, remember, had been had his cornea, I believe it was his cornea was scratched. And, uh, and a guy who I think has been one of the most important factors in the history of college basketball to put that together, Eddie Einhorn, never really gets the total credit due for all that he did for the game in terms of being the first guy to understand to how to syndicate college basketball, how to get it on national television, and how to really be the promoter of the game television-wise. And, of course, Dick Enberg was uh, the incredible he, announcer that he, he is. Uh, but when you have a guy like Douglas Roberts, you have a guy that can take it all the way and finish. Nice defense by Dorsey. Summers. Way up in the air with that one. On the floor, and how big might the final margin be? Well, it, it's very difficult. You get a, an opening shot salvo like that against another team to keep that concentration level up there. And if you're Tom Izzo, I'm sure at halftime, what he talked about is going out and winning this second half. There was not much of a shot at winning the ball game. All I know is if Allen hit that three right there, it would have been down to 13 with six minutes to play. We, we might have to start doing a little backtracking here. The team gets along with each other. You know, I mean, it, this is a, a well-coached ball club. Guys uh, respect each other. They played very unselfish basketball in that first half. There's Allen, and he comes down with it. So it's a tie-up. Arrow stays now. It stays with State. Well, Tom Izzo is right on that one. The ball was knocked out of his hands. He has the right to catch it and come down and retain possession. <laughs> Tom Izzo <laughs> trying to fight his case. The official knows he made a mistake, so just let it alone. Lucas cutting to the basket. Neitzel found him. Got that. Put his defender to sleep. 22 for Rose. Allen with a three. Yes. It's a personal challenge. And he's following him right down the court now. Knights are coming off the screen. Gets it over to Allen. That shot blocked. Right there is Sutan for the easy two. Rose with that explosive ability to take it inside with that strength. And then he has that lift at the end to be able to finish. Here's Knightsel giving it up to Sutan. Nice no-look pass by Knightsel. It's been a, a total block by Anderson. Lucas, nice move, gives it up Sutan. Today's Chevrolet players of the game, Chris Allen from Michigan State, 18 points, played hard, played well. It's Neitzel, is this the time? Yeah, gets one. Rattles around and goes in for a three. That would be a good idea, I think, for Tom Izzo to take him out. Good for him. You know, he's not thinking that way, but that would be a bad idea. And you know what? Who wasn't, who wasn't guarding him on that possession? Anderson. Kids had a great career, in. you just don't want to see it end with being blank from the floor. Well, I remember when he was a freshman, it was pass first, pass second, absolutely, then pass third. You know, then did you never imagine that he would turn into the score, did you? That's right. And then uh, by the time he's a sophomore, maybe pass first and think about shooting second. And then last year as a junior, it was shoot first. So he could got block through in Michigan State history. Well, that's something you never would uh, realize no. if you weren't reading that stat sheet. There's Allen again. Hit by Namick back to Allen. Nice. Oh, great body control. Timeout, State. 33 tonight. Not bad.
Makes it again. Got six points now. Be impressive here yes. in Houston. Memphis to the Elite Eight once again.